back. The members of the Madeline Choir School recently returned from their first international tour in five years, and the highlight was singing at a mass there for the Pope Francis. Religion specialist Carol Makita talked with students and parents about this amazing experience. For any faithful Catholic, being in St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican can be a once-in-a-lifetime pilgrimage. But the singers of the Madeline Choir School had an incredible moment. They performed for the Epiphany Mass with Pope Francis. I was just so starstruck, and it was just so surreal that I was actually like in his presence. The choir was positioned at the papal altar on January 6th for a celebration that ends the Christmas season and commemorates the Magi, or three wise men. And the pontiff waved to them. Knowing that I'm so close and I get to sing for him, it was, it was really touching that we had the experience to do this and the privilege. On these international tours, the singers represent the Madeline Choir School, but they are also ambassadors for our state. Governor Spencer Cox sent a statement of support. This is an opportunity to become familiar with other cultures and to share your talents throughout the world. Afterwards, it makes them feel quite proud of their accomplishments and um, seeing how they can make their state proud and, you know, take their music to new places. Some of the parents traveled with the choir. Shannon Baker says her son Ben and his classmates will benefit beyond these concerts. They're world travelers. They, they're not scared to be in a country where everyone speaks a different language because of this. Um, they're very open to different cultures, different experiences, um, because they got to experience it on this tour. These young people, fifth through eighth graders, spend many hours a week learning very challenging liturgical music. We have months before rehearsing and practicing the music and sometimes it's really hard and it all builds up to this experience that it's just amazing to be a part of. This trip will stay close in my heart. The school's founder, Gregory Glenn, watched the faces in the audiences during this concert tour of Italy. Some wondered, he says, if these children could really perform this music. But then they do, and that, that kind of shock really awakens the spirit and, and brings joy, and in some, in some cases, comfort. The experience, they say, will stay with them always. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Salt Lake City.